Want to speak real Spanish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SpanishPod101.com. Hey there, my friends from SpanishPod101.com. I'm Efraín. And I'm Diego. And today we are back for more just because you asked for it and now you have it. This is a very Mexican expression and it is... Orale! This word with so many meanings and enjoy the video! Woo! So, this expression was born precisely with the idea of hurrying up people. It comes from the word ahora, which means now. Then it became hora with H. And after that, people just took, took out the H and we had the word hora. Exactly. Uh, finally, Mexican people added LE just to make it an imperative as we have stated in a previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please go watch it now. So, in that case, we could say something like Ora, ora, que te pasa? Or, orale, orale, que te pasa? Which means like, right now, what's going on with you? What's happening? After some time, people have adapted this word to convey many different meanings. And now we're going to give you eight different ways where you can use the word orally. Number one, I agree with you. Diego, ¿por qué no vamos a comer camarones ahorita que salgamos y acabemos el video? Orale, va, 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 va. vamos, vamos. Number two, come on. Diego, Ya regálame tu sudadera. No. O sea, ¿cómo que ya crees? me la regale. Órale. No. Órale. Me queda bien no, bonita. No, bien, no, no, órale. No, no. No. Number three. Bring it on. Diego, estás fuerte, pero yo creo que te puedo partir la cara, ¿eh? ¿Tú crees eso? Sí. Órale. A ver. Órale, perro. Órale, perro. Ok, okay sí. Ok, sí. 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 <risa> Number four. <risa> Corre <up. risa> Ok, Diego, vamos allá porque ya terminando este video tengo que irme a la casa de mi tía. Órale. Pues, órale, apúrate, órale, vamos ya. We can also use órale to convey there you go. For example, Diego, préstame 50 pesos. Necesito para unos tacos y para gorditas. Uh, y sí, una sí. Órale, eh, pero me los devuelves mañana. Sí. Ok, so the next one is for just saying ok. For example, um, oye, invité a Gerardo a grabar videos con nosotros. Eh, él va a explicar y, y lo demás y tú puedes, tú puedes vernos desde atrás de la cámara. Ah. Órale. Sí, sí. Sí, está bien. Está bien. The next one is for conveying go ahead. For example, me andas del baño. Este. Uh, órale, no, ve no. al baño, no me digas. No, 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 espera. Tenemos que terminar esta parte. Órale, te toca hablar. Uh, uh, well, in that case, this expression means it's your turn. Last but not the least, we can use orale as a way to express that something is amazing. In Mexico we use wow, but we, but we can also use orale and orale. Yes, with that sound, orale. For example, Diego Estaba viendo el otro día y en menos de tres días en SpanishPod101.com uno de nuestros videos alcanzó dos mil visitas. ¡Órale! ¡Sí! ¿De no verdad? Manches, ¡En serio! ¡Increíble! ¡Órale! That's it for today, my friends from SpanishPod101.com. We hope that you have enjoyed the video. If so, please give it your thumbs up and share it with other learners. And also, if you have an opinion, please leave it in the comment section. We do read them. So, 
See you in the upcoming video. <laughs>